Everybody, what's up? Woody Mike here, and welcome back to some more East Side Hockey Manager. Last episode, we played our season over opener against the Montreal Canadiens, and unfortunately, we lost in shootout, I believe. And then from there, we played our next four games and ended up, I believe, with a record of 3 1 and 1. This episode, however, as promised, guys, I am in November. We will start. Our first game tonight against the Dallas Stars. And since the last episode, guys, if you look down below where it says season records, we are currently 8-2-2 two two since my last recording. And the Dallas Stars are 4-4-3. Four, four, and three. So hopefully we can pull out a win against Dallas with that incredible record. Now before we get started, guys, here's a few things I need to mention since... Uh, last recording, first off, we got injury riddled a little bit. We lost two of our star players, so I had to make two call-ups from, uh, from the American Hockey League to join our roster. And the other thing is, guys, I said about hopefully being able to do a trade to get that defenseman back. Unfortunately, I was trying some trades, and unfortunately, it seems like they're not willing to trade him right now. So unfortunately, for right now, we are not going to be able to make a deal to get that defenseman that I stupidly wavered back, at least not for now, guys. So we will work on that a little bit, and hopefully we can eventually, during this Let's Play, get him back, hopefully. Um, there was one more thing I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah. Um, since we are one defenseman short, and I don't know really who in the American League would be a good defenseman for a replacement, and I did check out free agencies, and that didn't work out too well. I also made a few inquiries, including the defenseman from Minnesota that we lost. So you guys might see that email later on. But I made a few inquiries for guys that teams are trying to get rid of, seeing what their offer is, and see if they come back with an offer or not. Um, at least I think it's an inquiry, because what happened was is their player was the only player on the uh trading block and I just hit inquire thinking they would that they would send me what they want for him and stuff that's what I'm hoping but I'm waiting to see if they come back and say we're not taking your offer because you offered us nothing because to me the inquiry meant something different than what the inquiry probably meant set up in this game so I'm just letting you guys that know that right now but anyway, let's get started, guys. No more fooling around. Let's get started here. Hopefully, we can do something. Okay, that's Canada's performance. Not bad. Okay, and we got to sign this guy a roster number. I tried to do this before we recorded, but unfortunately, it did not work. So, we're going to hit submit. Yes. Yes. And let's hope we can win against Dallas. I can tell you right now, guys, I've been trying and... It wouldn't surprise me if we don't lose, guys, because we lost two of our uh, good players to injury. So let's see what happens. You gotta be kidding me. Guys, I'm not lying. When I was trying this game, doing different things during my off time, we lost every single time. But to win right now during the recording, that is awesome. Okay, so that helps us a little bit. And I believe, I gotta see who we had in net here. Because I, hold on net, guys. I gotta move something out of the way. You guys won't see it, but I can. Okay. Go to the tactics, who do we have, yeah, okay, I thought I gave Sparks the, uh, you know, the game that aimed for Dallas, so let's confirm and switch them back, save that, because that's an incredible win we got, did not expect that to happen, okay, so that helps us, so our record goes to 9-2-2 two two now, like it, 
like it, like it, like it. So, I'm sorry, guys, if there's not much going on in this episode like I was hoping. But unfortunately, without being able to do a trade to make some some uh, move, movements in order to get that defenseman back, it's not going to work. So here's some of the stuff I was talking about. Okay, turn down as much as we can see here. Okay, so. so that, I knew that wasn't going to do well. Okay, so it does do what I thought that. Okay, so. In order to get this Brandon McNabb, we have to give it a second round and fourth round draft pick. I'll have to think about that. Let's see what we got here. They want a second and third. Okay, so. Uh, I'm not quite sure right now. So, I think I'll cancel this right now until we're. 100% I'm sure they won't mind for the simple fact that we can always come back to the table and offer something later on that's not bad though so I mean that's another mechanic at least you guys get to see in fact I might show you here guys quick hit on another guy here so okay that's done let's see Whoop. let's see what's going on here Okay, milestone for Kappa. Okay, two. Okay, so. Ooh, that ain't good for him. And let's see how good this guy is. Is he a goalie? Oh, yeah, he's a goalie. Okay, I don't think we really need any goalies unless if I can get let me see what his record is okay one two and oh i don't think so okay so okay, let's go to the game we need to pittsburgh let's see three more okay canada one group a okay don't really pay i don't really pay attention to those much uh i think i'll show you guys here quick i went to trade center uh i went down here to availability and right here you can see all the guys that are available in the train block. Might have to consider adding one or two to our list. Um, trying to think. Let's think about this guy right here. So what I did is I just went to action here. Approach to trade. And I put inquiry just to see what I could get from him. Get from them. And apparently it does do what I thought it does. So that's a little nice uh, feature as well there. So we're going to. Just move on now to our Boston, uh, excuse me, Pittsburgh game. But at least you guys now know how to do that. In case if you need to look it up anywhere, you can go to this video for reference, hopefully. And let's hope we can win against Pittsburgh. Okay, now what I plan to get shut out by Pittsburgh, but I mean, we have it. We had a nine-two and two record, so you know it's bound for us to get a third loss here. So I will take that, considering we beat Dallas. I didn't expect us to beat Dallas, so I'll take that as a little victory. But I'd like to see us beat Las Vegas here. Hopefully, move up in the ranks a little bit here. So let's move on. Okay guys, welcome back. Um, I'm thinking I, I'm cutting from Saturday all the way to Tuesday here. Um, you guys didn't miss much. I had about three trade proposals for one guy I have in the American League right now. I rejected them all because I didn't like the players in return. And we also have, I believe, John Travoltis. I'm not quite sure. I think that was his name. Um, well, anyway, one of the guys is coming back off of injury he's doing like practice right now so that is good hopefully we can get them back in time for friday's game to actually be able to do something and be able to get back on the winning streak so let's continue what's this madness okay so it looks like we're playing a team with an identical record to ours nine four and one 
nine three and two we're gonna stick with the same goalies yeah it was John to first yep that was the one he's soon coming back this guy I hope he's soon coming back Nathan Horton I'm giving up on and I'll explain later why most of you probably do know the real reason but if not I'll explain later on if not this episode hopefully next episode Alright, we won. Did not expect that, guys. I'm very happy about that. William Nylander, okay, new career high. That's pretty good. So, I'm happy. I didn't expect to get a win, but we did. That's great. So, hopefully we can do something. Okay, good. This other guy's coming back to light practice. That's good. We'll take that because we want uh, we want to have all our guys healthy again soon, so we can actually get back to playing well and stuff. So anyway, I probably won't forward this one like I did the other, cut this one like I did the other one. Uh, but anyway, uh, you guys probably know, but Nathan Horton's still been out since I think 2013 and on this game it says he's gonna be injured for I believe four years so pretty much if he's not coming back I either have to trade him or wave him because I hate the well of course he's not counting towards our salary cap because he's on reserve injury but I hate to have him on our team if he ain't gonna do anything it just doesn't make sense so um I know when I looked it up, like I said, I saw 2013 was the last time he played. Uh, 2018, they had no record for him whatsoever, so I'm assuming he's still out with an injury. And this game says four uh, years for I don't know why, but it's, you know, it's funny. I really don't know what to believe, so we'll have to figure out what to do with him later on. See, I, I like this game. It gives you different aspects of the hockey world like this is a rumor saying that Edmonton's looking to acquire the guy I don't know if it's true or not I'm not responding I mean you can respond but I'm not responding because I don't know if I should or not I quite frankly won't because oh apparently you do okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, decline to make a comment on this matter because I didn't hear anything I should have just denied it that's what I should have done but I didn't because I don't know if they're trying to make me an offer and I just didn't get it yet or not. So, we'll have to wait and see what happens. So, we'll just try to go here to Friday and see what happens. Yeah, let's see what's going on. Okay, looks like a lot of people are interested. Let's see how this guy looks, because I'm not taking a guy that's not doing anything where I have a guy that is kind of doing something. I mean, you don't have the best record, but he's not, to me, really yet ready to, you know, go. And I'm going to hit no, because I'm not interested yet in getting rid of the guy. Okay, Ben Street's on waiver, so we'll have to think of that if we ever need a guy to trade and, you know get something for which I don't plan to but I just thought if I don't need any guys for our team maybe that'd be something to consider I don't know we'll have to wait and see I, I don't like I said I don't plan to but we'll see what happens okay so now we're against New Jersey 
I just want to show you guys this quick because I know a lot of you are probably going to say, what's he talking about? But uh, Nathan Horn here, look, it says out for about four years with back sperms. So definitely don't want to, you know, do that. Now one of these guys is back. I'm not quite sure which one yet. I can't remember. Okay, so I don't know how soon he'll be off that. So we'll just let that go and we'll play New Jersey. And then we'll go from there. And once he's off, you know, no injury, or once we want to take him off that, because I don't want to get him back in the game yet, in case if he gets injured again, then, you know, we're back to square one. Give him, you know, some time to heal, even though he's cleared. That way, you know, we don't throw him back into injury mode. So let's get started. Whew, that was a close one. I really thought New Jersey was going to come back and get us there when it was 3 nothing. Then all of a sudden, 3-2. Wow, I really didn't expect a win there, so that's good. Oh, my. Well, at least that's helpful. The record keeps going up, thank goodness. We might actually have a team now. Thank goodness, and I really thought without two players, we'd really be in trouble. But we seem to be doing okay, so I'll take it. So let's see what's going on here. Rumors. You know, let's see what this guy's record is quick. Yeah, no. See, I didn't realize I had such a powerful prospect here. And if I know this guy, he's definitely a no. Yep, he's definitely a no. Yep. I didn't realize I had such a powerful guy here. So, you know, I'm going to have to keep him in mind in case if I need something done. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to play this one last game here. Boston is 10-2-3. We're 11-3-2. I think we're going to try it yet with Anderson. Then we'll go back to Sparks. Because I want to rotate the goalies because I'm afraid if I don't rotate them in gameplay, the one's going to tire out quicker than the other. And, you know, it just don't work. But I'm thinking by the 13th when we play, when I play LA, I'm going to have the other goalie back, the other two injured guys back and then we can get the full team back together so I figured this is a good way you know to get you know to that point so I'm not trying to make a long episode here but I am trying to make it hopefully somewhat interesting again I do apologize I didn't do much trading I really did try guys at least we have some options out there until we can figure out how to get that one guy back so we'll have to work on it you know sometime Oh, so close. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, hey, as long as we came that close, guys, I'm happy with that. I mean, I know we can't win all the time, but hey, at least we put up a good number there, so I'm happy about that. So, anywho, guys, um, what do I want to say at this point? Okay, so here, what I think I'm going to do, guys, and this is what I wanted to say. I think what I'm going to do at this point, guys, is I'm going to call an episode here. What we're going to do, guys, is next episode will be in December. I don't know if we'll be at the beginning of December or at the end of December. I don't know which or even in the middle. Who knows? But I want to, you know, I want to do some of this, you know, fast so that you guys don't have to watch me continuing 
playing it, but I will do like some major moments in the season, maybe some major key developments like trades and, uh, you know, waiver pickups and stuff and do all that kind of stuff. But I don't want to uh, continue doing this, guys, where you see me play game after game and stuff unless you guys want it. But unless you guys want it, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just, you know, do my own pace here in the game that you guys want to watch all the episodes, but, you know, do key moments. But anyway, guys, I'm going to call an episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, whatever you guys want to do would be greatly appreciated. And if you happen to see this episode or happen to see other uh, videos of mine and thought you like them, uh, you enjoy them, uh, might want to subscribe. I have to see future updates, guys. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, guys. would greatly appreciate it. You guys are so awesome, and I appreciate all 103 subscribers at the moment of this video for continuing to subscribe to my channel, guys. I do really appreciate it. I don't know if, if you guys don't believe me on that or not, but I really do. I want, I want you guys to know I really do. And I hope we can continue to grow this channel, guys. I would greatly appreciate it. And, guys, if you happen to like this video, please consider hitting the thumbs up button, guys. And something I wanted to do different, guys, is if you guys didn't like this video, if you guys leave a thumbs down, please let me know in the comments why so we can, so I can make those improvements, so I can make those adjustments, guys, so I can make it more enjoyable for you guys because... You know, I don't want to do this just for my entertainment. I want to do it for your entertainment as well, guys. So if you do leave a thumbs down, guys, which I hope you don't. But if you do, please consider letting me know in the comments below why. So I can make those adjustments. So I can, you know, make changes to how I do this. So you guys can find this stuff more entertaining. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Till then, guys. See ya.